everyone, welcome back to your 8th favorite North Shore based road cycling YouTube channel. I'm here at Stanley Park today. And there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the bike lanes of Stanley Park. So, let me tell you what's up. So, basically, what's happened is a new park board got elected in the past couple months. And one of their first action items was to remove the Stanley Park bike lane. So a lot of people were outraged by that and a lot of people were really happy about it. But then, come a couple weeks ago, they realized, oh wait, we don't have enough money to remove the bike lanes. So now, they aren't removing the bike lanes, but they've already started. So the bike lane is kind of in a half removed state. Let me show you. Some sections are quite good. They're nice and wide with concrete barriers dividing the cyclists from the cars. Other sections still nice and wide, but instead of a concrete barrier, you have pylons, which is still pretty good. And in other sections, particularly on downhills, you're just mixed in with the cars, which is fine for the most part because you're going around the same speed as the cars anyways. Then there's sections like this where the car lane kind of abruptly ends, so cars end up getting stuck in the right lane here. And also, if you notice, the sign saying the bike lane starts was kind of right in the middle of the bike lane, which blocks you from actually getting into the bike lane safely. In this section, I tend to take the road over the bike lane, especially if there's no cars around me. And that's just because this section of bike lane is just so poorly maintained with so many potholes and so many standing puddles that it's borderline dangerous. In fact, if you're not ready for some of the bumps, they can actually buck you off your bike. Also, look how popular these rental city bikes are. Even on a gloomy Friday morning, the rack's almost empty. Anyways, this is the last bat section coming up. The bike lane just randomly ends and they throw you into the left lane of traffic before you can go back into the right lane of traffic with that gate. So on one hand, you have the motorists who want to, for the most part, remove the bike lane. They think that removing the lane and adding a lane of traffic is going to reduce car traffic. And as someone who grew up driving in Toronto, I can confirm that they've actually added lanes to their highways and completely solved their traffic issue. So this is a pretty sound argument. And the second thing is, one of the quintessential parts of any green space is having fast moving metal objects moving through it. That can potentially kill pedestrians. Because if you're out walking around in the park, you really want that adrenaline rush, as well as the noise pollution while you try to enjoy a small slice of nature. And then you have the more serious cyclists who surprisingly actually also want the lane to be removed, mainly because they can't KOM if you have Fred, Fredita, and Fred Jr. riding three abreast taking up the whole lane. So they'd rather just ride with the cars. And then there's the casual cyclists who use the bike lane as a safe place to do exercise and bring their family and their extended family and all their friends so they can ride 10 abreast and recreate the cycling version of the Last Supper. So now that I've mocked pretty much every stakeholder in this situation, you probably don't care to hear my opinion. But I'm going to give it anyway since it's my channel. So based on the fact that I'm commuting to work wearing spandex, you should probably guessed correctly that I fall under the category of the more serious cyclist. And yes, it's true. It would be a lot easier to train if there was no bike lane. But I think society benefits more from having the bike lane because encouraging more recreational and more casual cyclists to take up the sport and get healthy outweighs the benefit I get from having a nice place to do threshold intervals. So my final stance is yes, we should be keeping the bike lane. Anyways, if you have a different opinion to me, 
leave a comment below. Let me know why I'm wrong. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, it's the end of the work day now, and I'm heading home. On a side note, a couple months ago, I posted a video talking about how great my commute is, and someone commented that I should reevaluate in the winter when it's not sunny and dry.